Hello, this is your captain speaking. We're back with Kerbal Space Program. It's been eons and eons, but I uh, had to stop playing for various reasons. Some social life things and some uh, work life things and some butt things. And um, also, I lost save files due to, uh, due to updates, so that was kind of shitty. But point nine zero is out, and we're here for a great fun time. I'm gonna play on hard because I ain't no, I ain't no, prissy Daisy kinda kinda player here. So I'm gonna play a hard career for you guys. I'm gonna name it. Um. But. But Nick two, yes. I probably named something like that in the last series. I don't remember. This is going to be great. Alright, so this is the new Space Center, although it may not look that new. It's got a bunch of Tier 1 buildings that you can upgrade into the old buildings that were there before. And, uh, now it's, like, added this whole new dimension of, like, progression to, uh, to the game. But it looks like everything costs an arm and a leg. You see here, this, uh, Vehicle Assembly building costs 420. <laughs> thousand credits and that's freaking ridiculous but we can work our way to that because they also didn't overhaul the contract system yeah to you too buddy so contracts here launch a new vessel set an altitude record of 5,000 meters those seem very doable you can only accept two contracts at once so we're just gonna get started right away and knock this first easy mission out because the first mission is very very easy <laughs> Okay, I was gonna skip through the first few missions for you guys so you didn't have to see it, but I messed up the first launch here. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, this is a disaster already right off the bat. What have I done? I just gotta wait for it to run out. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, hey. Oh, my God, he's gonna survive the disaster. Okay, I'm gonna collect science while I, while I slowly descend to the ground. Ah, uh, I messed up the first mission. God dang it. But I landed safely. I'm gonna hop out onto the ground. I'm gonna do some freaking reports. EVA report. Perfect. Can I not take samples from the ground anymore? Maybe that's the thing I have to upgrade in science. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. A big butt. Oh well. I'm gonna try and knock out the first few missions uh, without uh, any catastrophic fail failures like that again. Um, yeah. Alright, so after that embarrassing mishap with that first mission, I was actually unable to get enough science from that to, um, start unlocking all these, uh, tier 2 parts here. So I'm just gonna do that right here. Uh, just gonna start doing my actual video missions, because I was gonna skip through the first one, because it was gonna be boring for you guys. Okay. So, I already achieved my 5,000 meter goal, and I already launched a craft. So, that's the first two contracts done, so I'm already kind of rolling in dough from that stuff. Pretty psyched about that. I'm going way higher than I need to on this mission. But, uh, yeah, screw it. I don't need to go any higher than I'm already going. I'm just going to go back down to the planet now. Alright. Uh, fast forward! Whoa. I want to go faster. Let's go fast towards the ground. This is a bad idea. <laughs> yes! I got fire effects. Oh, this guy's... This... This Shep Ken Kerman, this hero who survived the tragic first mission, I'm now forcing him to, uh... to go on this second mission, where he's probably gonna die because I just sent him careening towards the ground at extreme speeds. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this stage right here, and now I'm just on the slow stage. I'm gonna pop this, uh, mystery goo containment unit in the water. I wanna go faster. Faster towards the ground. You always wanna go faster. That engine almost collided with me. Alright, time warp, time warp, time warp. Let's go do it faster. Make it stronger. Time warp better. Okay. And sploosh. Do that. I do an EVA report. No, don't do that. EVA report. Get back in the thing. Oh, this is gonna be a trial and tribulation right here. Is getting back in the freaking ship. Oh, wasn't so, so wasn't so hard. Now I just 
Now I just look like an asshole. Next mission! Alright, I did something crazy. I shrilled right into that contracting office and I was like, Yo, jerk face, I need you to give me the two hardest contracts you got. And they were like, Sir, could you please leave the building or talk to us nicer because we, we're paid employees here. We don't deserve to be spoken to like that. And I was like, Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I was just feeling overly confident. And they were like, Okay, it happens to everyone sometimes, but just please, we, we will call the police if you uh, continue to be such a rambunctious customer. And I was like, Okay. My bad. Uh, anyway, could I get those contracts I asked for? And they were like, yeah, sure. And this joke has gone on far too long. But the contracts I have are to break the atmosphere and even achieve orbit. I'm probably not going to achieve orbit in this one. But I'll be damned if I ain't going to try. That was that was a beautiful moment I just had there. So I also learned that um, crafts that are... Uh, at least in this new update, you can't have SAS on a module that doesn't have SAS. So, like, using pressing T to stabilize your craft this early in the game just doesn't happen anymore. So now you just need to have the part, the SAS parts. Which I guess were useless before, so it's cool that they added the na them now. Or uh, added that feature now. But it was nice while it lasted to just get away with having just the pod be the SAS. And if you have no experience in this game and you have no idea what I'm talking about, well... Um, get on my level or don't, because really it's your choice in your life if you want to play video games or not. Um, some people enjoy doing different things, I totally get that. I'm going to fast forward now, because this is taking a while. Alright, I've got myself into the suborbital trajectory of 100 kilometers. I'm just going to float my way up there now and try and get myself into orbit with the fuel I have left, which I'm pretty sure is unachievable. So I'm just going to get myself a really wide profile, um, really wide profile here before I come back down to the ground. Yeah, I sound like I know what I'm talking about. Isn't that shit crazy? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I barely ever do. That's part of my charm, though. Yes, I've broken into the vacuum of space. Glorious! This is the first of many space ventures. Actually, it's not the first, because I did, like, a whole series before this, and I had, like, a whole Duna mission planned, but, um, since mods had to update, I lost the whole craft, because they were lost in the update, and, um, so, that's one of my rules I'm making for this new, new series of videos I'm making, is, I'm gonna just play it vanilla as fuck, <laughs> so I don't lose those parts, and as long as, um, the actual, uh, first party updates come out, and don't like destroy old updates or like destroyed parts from old updates I should be good to just keep playing along uh, I'm looking at maybe installing visual pack because they look really nice and they look super cool other than that though no mods all right let's try and get into orbit I'm pretty confident that we're not gonna make it but I'm damn well gonna try Well, I kind of got myself into orbit, but it's too low on the other side. And if I burn this last fuel here to get actually into orbit, gonna kind of mess it up. Or at least leave myself stranded in space. Actually, fuck it. We're gonna do that. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun adventure for everyone, except for um, Shep Can Kerman here, because he's probably gonna die in the process. But what is space travel without death? Tell that to Laika. Oh, I just made myself sad. Laika, in case you don't know, is the dog the Russians launched into space on Sputnik 2. And, uh, poor thing, made it up to space in the name of science. It was a Russian stray dog, so, like, it didn't really have an owner or a family. Made it up to space, and they were gonna poison it to kill it, like, just kinda kill it a little bit peacefully, but it died of heat exhaustion instead. And that's, that's a sucky thing. But that dog is pretty much a hero. Alright. <gasps> still burn here. I didn't just fart. Uh, here's still burn here. <gasps> burn last of my too. Too much. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, I just fucked myself. But I'm now successfully in orbit, and now I have to get back to uh, Kerbin. So uh, I guess that'll be the next adventure. 
in my new series of Kerbal Space Program, Point Nine Zero. Thank you so much for watching. This is your captain signing off. Bye, you have a great night or day or whatever time you're watching. Bye-bye.